Guys, what's going on today? Um, this is, you know, uh, sometime in May. I think we're in late May now. Um, want to bring you a quick review, kind of a quick little video on a optic that I've been running the last few months. Um, don't hear a lot about it, but uh, for you helmet guys, this show will be for you. Uh, any guys that know me, you know I run a helmet uh, for my setup, and this is a new monocular, we'll call it, for a uh, helmet rig. Um, this is my Team Windy helmet that I run, but guys on the front, this is what we're looking at today. This is the Rix, right here on the side, the Rix ST6. This is a 640 resolution monocular. Um, guys, this is a nice unit. Let me tell you the price on this thing, $29.99. That's under 3,000. I know, just a dollar, but hey, we're getting there. We're under 3,000 for a 640 resolution, one power magnification, base magnification. Um, so one before for a helmet or handheld. You can definitely run this handheld. Um, let me detach this guys. I just want you to see it set up, rigged up on my helmet. USB-C plug-in. I run this in my backup battery pack. Um, you know, without the battery pack, just real quick, battery life, 18650. Um, without the battery backup battery pack, just on the battery alone, you're gonna get roughly eight hours, um, eight to 10 under perfect conditions, but realistic, I would say around eight hours of runtime on this unit. But I run a backup battery pack because I, I may run a lot more than that or I'll forget. Anyhow, um, guys, for you guys that wanna run this, you always call, you want about parts, pieces, what you need. So, if you want to run a helmet set up with this ST6, you got to have your helmet. You got to have a G24. You don't have to have a G24, but I run a G24 um, mount. So uh, breakaway, G24 breakaway. There's G22s. So you have some options there, but I run a G24 Wilcox. And that's all you got to have. That, just the G24, just the helmet. Everything else comes with the ST6. You see the dovetail orientation piece on top, this bracket. This bracket's removable, pull this off, it's all one piece. Already has the dovetail attached. You can run it you know, left eye, which is where I prefer, or you can slide this over with your adjustment knobs, move this rail over, you can run it on the right eye. But guys, it's obviously, if you know anything about a G24, G22, they take a dovetail. So it literally, you have your helmet, your mount, you buy the ST6, it comes with the mount you need. It, literally snaps in and you're in action you're ready to go so that, that's that's a really nice benefit um really nice of those guys to send that mount include that with that fantastic picture image for three thousand dollars the image quality is fantastic um id range and 400 plus uh and that's on a one power the base of one i mean that's a long ways for a one power magnification. That's just how good the image is in this unit. Again, for under $3,000. Um, let me go through some specs. I've got some video footage here. Let me roll the video footage for you guys. All right, guys. Again, this is the uh, Rix ST6, the Stride 6, however you want to say it. Um, guys, it is a 640 by 512 resolution. It's a 50 hertz refresh rate. Um, you know, again, I run this on a helmet as a monocular. I don't have any complaints. I can navigate with this. I've done a lot of navigating with this unit on the side by side. Um, it, it keeps up. I don't have any issues uh, running this for navigation. So the 50 hertz is, is fine. Uh, no complaints there. It is a, a sub 25 millikelvin sensor. Um, I, again, I don't have any major complaints in humidity or bad weather. Uh, unit still works very well, has a good image. Runs a 1024 by 768 display screen. Um, I know some guys complain. They think the screen looks too small when you run a helmet monocular. Uh, I think this one's fine. I don't have any complaints about the screen size. I think it's good. It's a 0 0.39 inch display screen and um, it, it's, it does a good job. I have no issues with the screen at all running this on my helmet. Um, multiple color palettes, guys. You got white hot, black hot, red hot. Uh, there's like a, uh, an iron, which is pretty much red, and then a green. Um, mostly I run white hot, 
but uh, there are certain conditions I do really like the green hot. I'm glad to see these uh, manufacturers adding a green hot now to these thermal scopes. Um, this is not the first unit that's ever had green hot, but it does have it and I really like it. It is very easy on the eyes, um, especially guys that are running helmets. The green, you, you don't get the eye fatigue with green like you do with your other colors. So just something to note. Um, Guys, it weighs just over half a pound. It's very lightweight, very small. Uh, no complaints on my helmet. There's no need to run counterweights. The battery pack that I have on here is, is fine. So, uh, you know, just over, just a hair over half a pound on weight. Um, again, battery life, eight to 10 hours on an 18650. The battery is supplied. They do send a battery with the unit. So no issues there. Um, just a side note, it is a flat top, not a button top. So you do have to run a flat top 18650 if you wanted spare batteries. Um, internal memory storage, plug this up to a computer. You pull the videos off, pull the audio off, very easy. It has Wi-Fi, so you can set it up with a phone to a tablet, pull videos off that way. Has a view, uh, live view mode where you can see what the unit is seeing uh, in your phone or your tablet. And, um, you know, USB-C uh, plug-in. So, guys, that's the specs on this unit. Uh, we'll do another little quick walk around of this, and then we'll call it good. Okay, I'm back. We, um, one more walk around, guys. This is it. ST6 button three button configuration on bottom um you know power button your magnification button uh, your your color palettes those are all single press your record option uh single press so you have a uh, you know those are also you have to use combinations uh, most of you guys that run helmets you already know that there's not a lot of buttons on most of these monoculars for a helmet so you're going to have to use different button combinations to get into menu systems and do things like that. So that it's kind of a given. Um, you know, there's only so much real estate on a little bitty unit like this. So uh, you do have an objective focus, objective lens here. You twist for your objective focus, does a really good job of uh, getting a good sharp image in multiple ranges, even up close. I um, mean, I think I've got some footage of an of a armadillo that walked literally up to my feet and I could focus this at, you know, two yards and got a good image. Um, battery count, so battery compartments right here. You do have a diopter focus, so if you wear glasses, you need to adjust this, you know, you have that there as well. And um, your USB-C plug-in is right here. So um, that's about it. Mount, obviously, it comes with it. You do have to attach it. This is not attached, you just unscrew. This mount comes with the ST6. Um, and here's a case. Let me, I'm going to show you guys this. It's pretty cool. It is a soft case camo has a uh, snap on the front. It also has belt loops here on the back. So, um, if you want to run this, you know, you'd hook this up to a backpack. You could uh, put on your belt loop. So if you wanted to run this and take this off for some reason, like you don't have a helmet, you don't want to wear a helmet. Um, you'd rather just use this as a handheld only Well, you have a carrying case. Uh, it also has a shoulder strap in here, um, you know, your battery, all your, your information, uh, instructions, all that's in this case. But you take what you need, the case will serve as a um, carry unit. So you can carry this in the pouch when you're out in the field if you do not wear a helmet. Um, guys, uh, five-year warranty. Um, everybody knows by now, Rick has a five-year warranty. Uh, there, there is no, let me point out, there is no reticle in this. So you cannot use this as a standalone unit. Uh, you cannot pull up a reticle or use this on a weapon. You cannot use it as a clip-on. This is a handheld only, handheld or a helmet. Only two options you have. $29.99 is the price. We have these in stock on the website, outdoorlegacygear.com. Uh, we do not have a full review on this yet. Um, I don't know if that's coming or not. Uh, Jason and Hans, if they uh, get a chance, this might be a unit that they decide to review. I've been running it. I like it. Uh, for the money, I don't think you can beat it. I don't think there's, there's not. There's not a better unit. I've run them all. There's not a better unit for $3,000 that will compete with this and give you the image quality 
This will give you a uh, five-year warranty, 10-day uh, turnaround time. If something happens, um, 10 days it's turned around and it's either replaced or it is fixed and repaired and sent back to you. Guys, that's, that's about all I got. Uh, love the unit. If you want to know more about it, you got questions, call us. Be happy to talk to you about it. 877-350-1818. Go to the website, outdoorlegacygear.com. Um, feel free to call and talk to us about it. We got, you know, helmet questions. We can discuss it, the mounts. Um, it comes with it. It's pretty self-explanatory. But if you got any, any other questions, something that I did not cover here, uh, just call us. We'll be glad to talk to you about it. Guys, appreciate you watching, and I will catch y'all on the next one.